Oh. Oh my God, I love wine. White wine. Is that something about being 31? Cheers and welcome to 31 Things About Being 31. Whoa, this is not porn. Mm. Every year I like to write a little letter to myself in the form of blank things about being blank. Like 26 things about being 26, 27 about 27. I don't know if you guys can tell, this is not my first glass of white wine. And thus, without further ado, here are 31 things about being 31. Mm -hmm. Thing number one, you can definitely tolerate white wine, which you previously hated for good reason. Most of it's gross, but some of it's good. Number two, you think about politics a lot more, though to be fair, this might just be a product of 2017, which hey, works for me guys. You know, I wish I had started thinking about politics seriously at 21. Number three, you hardly ever get carded, which leads us to number four, you're considering Botox. Are we cool with that? You're thinking about school, but not school for yourself. You're thinking about school districts while considering buying a home. Real estate in general. I'm not keeping track. God, I hope I get to 31. The friends from high school that you only saw because you felt guilty in your 20s, you no longer see, which is its own blissful reward. And really, you only have friends that you like, which has always been a personal goal. Speaking of personal goals, therapy, turns out, is really working. And you can see the fruits of your labors finally paying off. Now is the time where you start to think about pregnancy. And if it is gonna be a thing you do, or maybe adopting is a thing you do. Speaking of kids, you're a proud pet owner, a proud and responsible pet owner. Also, just a heads up, I'm probably gonna end up with two cats. The adults in your life are now in their 60s and you feel like you are going to gracefully avoid the midlife crises they all seem to be having. <sighs> Well, to be fair, I mean, things have really been shot to shit lately. You've had friends who have double-digit relationships that are now over. Despite your best efforts, you really can't party like you're in your 20s. Additionally, it is a lot harder to lose weight. Lately, you've been really into sports and are kind of taking a lot of pride in the city that you live in and considering making that city your city. Don't hold me to it. You enjoy hosting and you can confidently cook a couple of things and you can confidently make a couple of drinks. Mm. You're starting to really consider having a five-year plan. Really, vaguely thinking about maybe having a five-year plan, maybe. Maybe. I don't know if I believe in five-year plans. Literally yesterday, you found a gray hair. Can you guys see it? It's over here. Can you see it? Screenshot it if you can see it. I can't see you, but it's over here in the general vicinity. I'm gonna do this. Let me know if you guys find it, okay? Leave a comment in the comments below if you saw it, you know? Let me know, seriously guys. Let me know if it changes your opinion of me. You've been on multiple medications and now you've found one that seems to be working well and that you think you might transition off of soon. You appreciate your body for the way that it is. Mmm! Bah, keep. Can I have more wine? <laughs> Hello. Did you? I'm getting pink from drink. Oh, from your own cup. How warm. That's more like it. You accept your body for the way that it is because you put effort into making your body into something you're comfortable with. Sex is no longer the biggest thing in your life. I mean, we're so, like, honey, I'm transitioning into a mom. You're 27. You no longer want to make out with someone you're not in love with. I'm having a list. <laughs> Am I drunk? You've got a really good grip on your hairstyle. You only use a diva cup now, and that is awesome. You think about future generations and how you want them to have more than you had. Information, power, pride. You've let some things go, emotionally. I don't mean like you've let yourself go. I mean like you've really moved past some things that you wish were different, but you accept that they will not ever be different because the past is in the past and you've made your peace with it. You invest in your interests, the things that you like. For instance, I own a cool tent and two really great sleeping bags. Maybe you have IBS. You've accepted your hereditary traits and will just have to get a colonoscopy every five years. I just had one, it's not great. You no longer feel guilty for having a happy life. Most of the time. You know how to grocery shop, dude. You realize that your 20s were a journey of self and your 30s are embracing that self. Your 20s were the experiment, your 30s are the celebration. Happy birthday to you, dude. You're very grateful for where you are. I mean, I'm literally, look at this. Cover me in strawberries. Hey guys, thank you 
so much for watching. Thank you so much for all of the amazing birthday wishes. I hope that as you journey through life, you move towards the things that are important to you. You don't have to do everything. Just do what is your number one priority. Family, work, body, mental health, whatever it is, move towards the direction of your goals. No matter what, you won't regret that. Mwah. Click like and subscribe. Also, have a great day.